welcome back, all four subscribers. You'll be seeing this content first. Congrats! You know, we have a saying here at You'll Just Reviews. The more music you listen to, the less of a chance there is that you'll go to hell. This is scientifically proven, people. Just look at all these sources. Anyways, today I'll be doing reviews for Goner and Wither Away. There will be news about Chase Huglin and Hungover, as well as my award-winning top three from the second week of February. Let's get it started. Let's get it started, ha. Huh? First up is Goner from Nevada. They released an album at the end of January called The Things That Keep Me Up. They blend elements of emo and pop punk beautifully. The vocals are raw and aggressive, the instrumentals are distorted and upbeat, and the lyrics are so emotional and relatable. They also add in a lot of atmospheric, spacey leads. It reminds me of Have Mercy mixed with Fossil Youth and Super Heaven. In my emo rock category, I'm giving this album a 4.6 out of 5. Let's take a listen to a few of my favorite songs of theirs. Could you take my conscience? Next up, Wither Away from Pennsylvania. <sighs> what a great state. So I've been following these guys for a while and would highly suggest checking out their last album, The Words We Live By, The Actions We Don't Take. Today I'm here to talk about their newest single, Pandora's Box, which came out on February 17th. This band is a perfect example of what emotional post-hardcore should sound like. They're a tad difficult to categorize though. It's an amalgamation of grunge, emo, post-hardcore, and even melodic hardcore, which makes them super unique. The vocals are mostly airy and pretty, but switch off with heavy screams. There are a lot of driving chord structures under twinkly leads, and a pounding, unforgiving rhythm section. In my post-hardcore category, I'm giving this song a 5 out of 5. Let's take a listen to it. Now it's time for some band news. In Vogue Records acoustic artist Chase Huglin released a new song last week titled June Bug. Expect a new album from him this year. From what I've read, it'll be mostly full band. Yes! In other news, local Florida band Hungover recently announced their signing to Smart Punk Records. Dope! They also released a re-recorded version of their song Three's Company from their debut album Wilt, which will come out on March 30th. Here comes the top mother flippin' three. This is a curse-free channel, thanks. Number three, The Most Hated by Polyphia. An instrumental tech metal album from last year that incorporates a good amount of electronic beats. These guys shred hard. Don't you. Number two, Wait for Love by Pianos Become the Teeth. A fantastic atmospheric emo album that just came out through Epitaph Records last Friday. And number one, Spiral Gaze EP by Off-Road Miniband. Yet another album that dropped last Friday. This is the second week in a row that these guys have made my top three. <laughs> it's definitely an alt emo album that you cannot pass up. Well, that's it. Make sure to subscribe and share and check out my other sites over here. And I'll see you on next week's episode. Later. I'm